You may have seen our recent story on Thoroughbred's Argo about Thoroughbred industry careers using X-ray sources to train a new generation of track riders. But Tick is also a great entree into the breeding industry for people wanting an education and lifelong industry contacts. touch base for Bread to Win about this fabulous program you have. You're setting up young people for careers within the breeding industry but also within racing as general and it's now a few years into the program. How's it, how's it going now looking to a new lot of cadets you're trying to recruit? Yeah we um, just opened applications on the 1st of October for the 2021 Explorer program and I think what's really unique about the Explorer program is for people who don't know anything about our industry they get to do some core training to make sure that they're safe and they all learn how to ride. Some of them go on to ride track work. Then they go to a racing stable for four and a half months and then they go and do the breeding season for four and a half months. So um, it's just opens so many doors. By the end of the 12 months, they've seen so many different parts of the industry. So young people can then decide which pathway they want to take or which, you know, which area they'd like to pursue a career in. So it's worked really well. We've had to date, we've got 70 people through that program in just, we're two years old, Tick is two years old this month. So Incredible. it's yeah. been fantastic. And they've come from everywhere, haven't they? I mean, it's not a, it's a national thing, so it's a program where, you know, you can help the kids, they get looked after. How does it work through that 12 months? Where do they stay? Who pays for them? How does it all work? When they're in boot camp training, they live at Western Sydney University, and that's fantastic because there's security there and they get that college experience. So everyone lives together. So they all get to know each other. And I think what's great about that is they build a network of friends and, and, and they, and by the end of that 12 weeks, they're really sort of good buddies and they've got each other to lean on. So we're setting them up with a bit of a base. Um, when they go to the racing stable, um, depends on where they go, but we organise accommodation with them or with the trainer. And then when they're at the stud farm, uh, they, they usually live on site at the stud farm. So they're accommodated throughout the year. Um, and they get to earn a full-time wage for nine months of that year. So it's, it's a great program because people can afford to do it. A lot of other educational programs that go for 12 months are just unaffordable for a lot of people. So we work it like that so that they can, you know, it's achievable for people. And you have great support. I mean, how, how is it funded basically? What's the general way that you're able to do this for these, these great young people? Uh, so the funding source that comes from our stakeholders, which is um, Godolphin, Arrowfield Stud, Chris Waller Racing, Adrian Botton, Gay Waterhouse, the Australian Turf Club, Lindsay Park and Tony McAvoy. So that's the core base funding was from those original seven stakeholders. Um, since then, Racing Victoria, Racing Queensland, Racing SA, Racing New South Wales have, have chipped in to help with the Explorer program. So, you know, um, our funding sources come from all different places, but we wanted the program to be national because the industry is in such dire need for good staff that we wanted to canvas Australia for horse, you know, horse lovers. So we didn't want any, any one particular state to be left out. So um, they've come from everywhere. We've had students from Tasmania, from Western Australia, Northern Territory, Northern Queensland. So it's great. And even in the boot camp, like the initial sort of training that they do, um, you know, they are being taught to ride horses, but you don't have to be a great rider. You don't need to want to be an elite or a jockey or anything. You know, a lot of these cadets so far have gone into lots of different roles in the industry. Yes, um, we have quite a few that didn't have a very horsey background at all, but they had a love of racing. So um, a great example is a young boy called Jack Cripps, who you met Caroline at graduation. Um, he came from Western Australia. He, his parents used to cater for the local race course at Geraldton. Um, he came to boot camp with no horse background and he ended up winning our Chairman's Award at the end of the year because he was a real standout. Um, he's now selling race horses now for Tony McAvoy syndication. So he's, he's done really well. Watching the television the other day, Colette was racing for Godolphin. One of our cadets rides her. Order of the Garda uh, won, obviously, in, at Caulfield. One of our cadets straps that horse. So every time we turn on the television now on a Saturday, we, we see 
a lot of our cadets there, which is really pleasing. Um, quite a few of them have, have now, now in the breeding industry and, and will stay down that pathway. So it's been a fascinating time and I think from what we want to do at TIC is we're just raising the curtain on everything you can do in the industry and then guiding young people in, holding their hand and setting them up for a career. And that was what was really lacking and that's why the stakeholders got behind these programs. Well, Godolphin Flying Start has been wonderful around the world. A lot of those people were already in the industry. So, you know, we know it's so hard to get, you know, so many track riders and track stable workers, stud workers are from overseas. But what I've loved too is the support you're getting from, you know, people hands on in the industry. Darren Beadman, you know, champion jockey, of course, now with Godolphin. You know, Rachel King, fabulous Sydney jockey. And, and she has so much wisdom having come from the UK and particularly to the group of young girls we saw her t talking with with here today to give them confidence and, and, and some pointers about being in this industry. The industry has been giving back a lot to TIC and our programs Australia, which like is girls, you know girls. really pleasing and Rachel King I mean she was so inspiring for the young girls to listen to her story because she had a few different starts at being a jockey and um, obviously when she came to Australia she flourished under Gay Waterhouse so she was great but she, we also really try and mentor these students so we talk a lot to them about their overall, overall well-being and, and that's really important because so many people can ride horses and that's great but um, I think the success of people in the workplace is, is so much more than that so we just try and help them to be well-rounded and the jockeys and, and the other industry people that come on board that's what they really support us with. Made of heaven handled by Rachel King. It's incredible you know to see see that young generation coming through and seeing them get this help. Um, it's something that, you know, it's going to benefit everyone within the industry, especially us jockeys. You know, the more sort of good track work riders we can have, the better. And, you know, hopefully some of them can go on to be jockeys as well or even further than themselves, you know, in with something else in the industry. Well, it was great hearing you talk about the, the feedback a track rider can give to a jockey. I mean, I, I think a lot of people are probably a bit scared to say something to a jockey on race day, but you were really encouraging them about that little 1% extra that it can help a jockey. Yeah, definitely. I, I love getting on, you know, the first thing I ask, ask the strapper how they are, and then I, you know, ask if the horses behave, stuff like that. It, it, it can be really interesting and give you that valuable information. And quite often they might not have even told the trainer stuff, you know, that if they don't feel comfortable, they might not have even told them that, that little thing, or oh, he actually, you know, this horse really likes when you give him a pat, or this horse really likes when you do something certain on it. It can, you know, it definitely can be that difference between winning and losing. And as a jockey, it's invaluable advice. Yeah, and you've obviously been very determined and, and you know, you're having a wonderful career now. But it does take determination, doesn't it? It was good to see you sort of encouraging them because a few were sort of sounding a bit tentative, which, you know, you would be starting out anything. But but it takes determination, doesn't it? Yeah, it takes, it takes a, a huge amount of determination and, you know, that, that attitude of, no, I won't give up. And if you're focused on something, you know, I believe you can do anything. Um, it's just hard work, really, that goes into it. And that's something I sort of always... Um, you know, taught as a, as a young person um, and, you know, carried it through in, into my work. Well, congratulations to you, Lindy, pulling this all together. I mean, it really is so important for the whole industry and I love the support it's that you're so getting. Good. But what can people do if they have a, a son or a daughter or if they themselves aspire to work in the industry with your next intake for 2021? So applications are now open for that intake. So on our website, which is tbindustrycareers.com.au, they can just simply go to the website, read about the program and apply online and then we get in touch with them and, and call them and interview them. Yeah, I think if you've got a great attitude and a love, and a love of horses, that's, that's really for us is key is that if you have a love of the horse, then we welcome you in. Mm -hmm.